The curious object today comes from our collection here at Paynton Zoo. The bones come together in a skeleton that is recognisably that of a mammal. Four limbs, a pelvis and spine, an unusual number of ribs, a skull with a short, stubby snout. In life, the animal would have been perhaps half a metre in length. Perhaps we were cruel to play a trick on you. In the museum, the skeleton hangs as if from a branch. The curious object from the zoo today is the skeleton of a sloth. Visitors to our sister zoo down at Newquay can see our two-toed sloths, Roxy and Hadar, in the trees of the tropical house. Now, just like their wild cousins, our sloths spend most of the time right up in the canopy of the trees. Now, their wild cousins would be eating mostly leaves and shoots and flowers, but Roxy and Hadar like to eat a lot of leafy greens and some root veg as well. Now, up in the canopy, Sloths are safe from ground-dwelling predators, things like jaguars and anacondas, but that's also where they can find their food as well. So being up in the trees means that they're near the leaves and shoots that they like to eat. A quick look inside the mouth of a sloth shows that they've got no cutting teeth at the front of their mouth, but they do have chewing teeth at the back. So whether it's Roxy and Hadar at Nuki Zoo eating leafy greens, or a wild sloth chewing on the leaves of a tree, those sloths will pluck the leaves with their tough lips and then chew them at the back of their mouth before passing the food down into their gut. Now it can take them a month to digest their meals and surprisingly the full digestive system full of food can make up half of a sloth's weight. So on a sloth like Roxy okay, who weighs eight kilos that could be a four kilo digestive system and contents. Now in many other animals, hanging upside down with a gut full of food would cause problems with their breathing, but scientists have recently discovered that sloths have their internal organs anchored to their ribs in a slightly different way that means that they can hang upside down by their back feet and still be able to breathe even when they've got a tummy full of food. Now confusingly, a two-toed sloth like our museum specimen here, or a lot like Roxy and Hadar, has two toes on its front feet but it actually has three toes on its back feet. And it's got long curved claws, and those, together with the muscles and ligaments and bones, work together to allow the sloth to hook onto a branch and hold on with very little effort. Now, sloths have a reputation for being lazy and sleepy, and in books they'll sometimes talk about sloths sleeping for more than 16 hours a day, but recent scientific research has actually shed some new light on that. Measuring the brain activity of wild sloths has shown that in fact they sleep for more like 10 hours a day. A final curiosity is the way that sloths avoid descending to the forest floor. If they do, they'll just crawl between trees or to make their weekly visits down to the forest floor to poop. Perhaps if your gut weighed half of your body weight when full, it would be worth the visit. But it's worth knowing that half of the sloth deaths recorded in a scientific study happen during those visits to the forest floor. We hope you've enjoyed seeing this curious object from the zoo. Please make sure that you share, like and subscribe to our videos and make sure you come and see our amazing animals at Nuki Zoo and Paynton Zoo soon. Cheers!